All right, last one. Here we go. Um, all we have to do is talk about absolute value inequalities, and it's a very simple idea, just one trick, okay? So we knew that when we solved absolute value equations, we isolated the absolute value, and then after we abs uh, isolated the absolute value, we solved for what was inside the absolute value symbols for both the positive and negative values of what it equaled, okay? And if it was a quantity, we had to solve for the positive and negative values of that quantity and then solve for the variable. But um, we're going to do something similar, but there's one little trick when we're talking about it with uh, compound or, or, I'm sorry, inequalities. Um, compound was the last version. This is absolute value. So there's a lot of gobbledygook up here. Um, and it, it tends to, to get to be a little confusing when you're reading only letters. I know you guys hate it. So I'm going to go through the example and we're going to see what it looks like in the example. And even this is a little bit convoluted, but I want to point out a couple of things and I'm really going to blow this up and get over there so you can see that solution. So I'm going to set it over here and I'm going to see if I can pull it down. There we go. All right. So you can really see this. I, I wanted to make it nice and big so you can see it, even though it's not bolded. So this is our, our absolute value inequality, why it's got an inequality symbol instead of an, e, uh, a, an equal sign, right? And it says solve it. Okay. Well, we know that we have to solve for the positive and negative values of 4 because this absolute value quantity has been isolated for us already, which is awesome. We don't have to do any work whatsoever. We don't have to, to futz with it before we get to it. Um, and it's just a single step, right? So we're going to solve for x plus 2 is greater than 4. And we're also going to solve for x plus 2 is less than, less than negative 4. And this is our big change, okay? When solving for the negative value, for the opposite value of that inequality, the inequality symbol flips, okay? And so I'll put my little crazy Sokol face up here with the glasses and the super big nose and the goatee and I'll just write it up here. When solving absolute value in equalities Flip the symbol when solving for the opposite or negative value on the right. And I'm going to show you an example of that. I just want you to know that I keep doing this. I know it's, it seems childish, but I want to repeat myself. I don't want you to get lost. I don't want you to say, oh, hey, I did it real fast. Boom, 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 boom. And then you have uh, an and instead of an or. These, this is going to turn out to be an or. And if we did it with, with, with a, a different value, it may turn out to be an and. But, here we go. Um, I'm going to move this page until I get to an example. And let's see what we've got. What we've got, here we go. Here, let's try this bad boy out and see what happens. Um, actually, let's try this one. This one's more fun, right? Everybody hates looking at fractions like that, but it's the same thing. It's division instead of multiplication. All right. But 
I'm going to solve it over here. I got plenty of space over here. I'm just going to go ahead and solve it over here. Um, let's see if I can grab a new marker, see if it works better. Uh, here we go. I'm going to solve two different inequalities. I'm going to solve C over 2 minus 3 is less than or equal to 5. And I'm also going to solve or C over 2 minus 3 is greater than or equal to negative 5. Hey, look at that. We're probably going to have it. And then, here we go. C over 2. We can see this, right? Good. All right. C over 2 minus 3. Well, just like my two-step equations, I get rid of step 1. Get rid of addition and subtraction. Here's my subtraction. I'm going to undo it with addition. That goes away. I add 3 to this. I bring it down. C over 2. C divided by 2 equals Ocho. All right. How do I get rid of this, this division? I get rid of it with multiplication. I'm going to rewrite because Mr. Sokol likes to rewrite it because he likes to waste dry erase ink because it doesn't offend him in the least. All right, 2 divided by 2 is just a 1. So I end up with C on this side less than or equal to 8 times 2 is 16. All right, now I'll move over here. By the way, the steps are exactly the same. Just say it. All right. Remember, I flipped my inequality symbol. Everything is good. Negative and flipped inequality symbol. Flipped with negative. Right? Hey, look at that. I did, I did my job. Okay, so I'm going to add 3 to both sides. You must be so tired of listening to my voice. Here we go. Negative 5 and positive 3 are negative 2. Here we go. C divided by 2 is greater than or equal to negative 2. I'm going to rewrite it because I like to rewrite. And then I'm going to multiply by 2 on my rewrite because I know I can get a 1 there. That gives me C. I'm going to multiply by 2 there, and I get negative 4, because negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. All right, look. Holy guacamole. It's greater than negative 4 and less than negative 16. I don't have an or. I have an and. Son of a gun. This is cool. Look, see, all right, so this ends up being negative 4 is less than or equal to C, which is less than or equal to 16. Look at that! And it contains equal signs, so I can put uh, closed circles in. It worked out. That's e it's that easy. I thank you for your time. That's it. We're done with the chapter. All right. We're going to go back and review the whole darn thing after you do all this work. And uh, then we can assess and move on to a new unit.